Welcome back everybody to another update on construction progress for basically what amounts to Pixar Pier these days and we're going to start with the entrance to Pixar Pier where we can see that uh, they've, they've made a little progress on what do they call that like the canopy the I guess the canopy is the right word they've added some artwork there you can see a bunch of figures we'll get a closer look here actually we see, see a bunch of figures from various Pixar films Looks like they've got an opportunity finally to work in the good dinosaur. <laughs> it's the only place that the good dinosaur will fit anywhere. Nothing on the boardwalk, nothing anywhere. But uh, we got we got a little good dinosaur right there, uh, and uh, a bunch of other Pixar characters. It's cool. They've 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 put on a I guess a, a roof on the uh, on the awning out there that they're they're constructing. Here's a look at how things uh, were, uh, I guess, what is this, uh, three weeks ago? So I, I'm trying to figure out why they did that, actually, because they had, they already had a, an awning out there. They took it down and built a new one, <laughs> which is odd considering, you know, how how much of the existing Cove Bar slash Ariel's Grotto was repurposed rather than built from a new. But for some reason, I guess maybe, the, maybe it wasn't, uh, maybe it needed to be redone physically like it wasn't sound perhaps so let's take a closer look at the boardwalk last week we suggested we'd probably spend a little time looking at the facades for the for the uh the boardwalk games we, we figured there'd be some progress and in fact there was uh we'll take a closer look at those uh later on but now let's take a look at this thing right here that is the structure for the angry dogs hot dog stand there's the concept art i'm hoping that they have some you know i guess Interesting hot dog varieties like they do at Award Wieners. Uh, I love eating at Award Wieners, so I'm hoping we get something like that here. Maybe they'll give me some spicy ones. I wouldn't mind a spicy hot dog. And now check this out. This I almost I was surprised by this when we first got here. I was like, why does this view look so different? And then I realized, well, David, it's because all the scrims are gone. Uh, they have taken down all the scrims surrounding uh, the uh, you know the Paradise Bay. I never really showed you guys how it looked before because <laughs> what's the point of that? But uh, all around the perimeter of the of the boardwalk there, you would see you know scrims like you see on the far right of your of the frame. That was all around, obviously, and they've taken those down. So we get a nice clean look at the Incredicoaster queue and a few other locations which we're going to examine now. So if we close in, we can see you know the the queue for Incredicoaster there. It's a, it's a new angle. It's, I think it's a much cleaner angle than we were getting before. Uh, not a lot of progress going on there. I mean, the, 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 the structure itself is coming along, but it still looks the same as it did before. And then here's a close-up look, finally, at Jack-Jack's Cookie Shop. This is right at the exit. That's where the old uh, photo, uh, what do you call it, where you get your ride photos for California Screaming. That is going to become a cookie shop featuring Jack-Jack. Here's a concept art there well actually they don't they don't actually have concept art for jack jacks which i thought was interesting but you know you can just kind of see it through the <laughs> through the rest of the of the incredicoaster scene or the incredibles area he's hiding back there behind them trees that's the structure that they're building right now there's really no progress on the carousel on the king triton's carousel or woody or jesse's roundup but you can see there that they put in the concrete wall for the waterfall we don't have a close-up shot of that, but if we zoom in on this wide shot from uh, of the Pixar Pier concept art, you can see the waterfall to the left of the carousel. So that's coming soon. They've painted the track blue for the Incredicoaster that was white formerly. Still haven't seen any water tests yet. And I don't know what that is, but it's probably something to support a, uh, an awning or a canopy of some kind coming soon to the outdoor seating area down there. And that's how, that's the view you get <laughs> from the code bar. All right, here's a close-up shot. This is an interesting uh, deal here. That, what they're working on there is bing bongs. That's that yeah. steel um, framework that's going up is, is bing bongs. Now, you'll notice, this kind of took you by surprise a little bit, that it's, it's extending out because bing bongs does protrude. It's not, uh, I don't know, how, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, here's the concept art for bing bongs. And you can see that it does come out a little bit from the rest of the, you know, the old facades are being brought out onto the onto the boardwalk a little bit. And you can see they're doing the same thing for the theater to the left, which actually isn't a theater anymore. The new concept art does not show a theater. It just shows characters meeting out there. 
Uh, and it's our understanding, based on a conversation we had with a cast member, that um, you won't be able to go into that building on the left. It's going to be for it's backstage, basically. Uh, and there will be characters out there that you can meet uh, out in front of the former theater, but you can't go inside that area. We've also heard that uh, the Bing Bong's uh, construction is delayed and it won't be ready for opening. That right there is the Poultry Palace, which is the first of the outdoor vending locations that we've seen them building. And that's, you can, you can definitely see, you know, how that's coming along. And then as we pan left, you'll see that they're, they're getting ready to put on a new sign up there for Toy Story. And we finally got a look at Dash inside the uh, first Scream Tube at launch. This had been, for whatever reason, this has excited a lot of people being able to see Dash in there. So we know he's practical, which is kind of neat. Here's a close up of those facades we were talking about before. That's La Luna. And there's Wally, so those are two of your four boardwalk games. No word yet on what how those games will work. And we saw some guys constructionizing here. Go get it. It looks like they've stripped, they're starting to strip the blue uh, outer, whatever you call it. Uh, getting ready to make that red, I hope. That's the plan. I mean, is that or is, it just looks like they've stripped it to me. And of course, as always, we're going to end with progress on the Mickey and Friends parking structure part du. And this week we saw a bunch of those things down there. I don't know what those are. Those are wood. Uh, I don't know what they're using those for. Maybe some constructionizers can help us figure out what those things are for. But those are, they've just got stacks and stacks of those. And then as before, the rest of the, the rest of the lot is flat and dirty. Well, actually, I take that back. The rest of the lot is not flat and dirty. The rest of the lot has, look at that, rebar. They're getting ready to, I'm, I'm sure this is foundation rebar. Maybe that's what those uh, wooden uh, deals are before this part of the, you know, they need this for the foundation. But that's a whole bunch of rebar. Um, I wonder, like, is the foundation the size of the lot? That'd be interesting. I'd like to, I'd like to follow that and see how that goes. And we got piles of gravel, piles of dirt, et cetera, et cetera. And then again, as usual, cause we go on a Saturday when there's hardly anything going on, there's just one guy <laughs> working. <laughs> there's always just one guy. I don't know if I've ever seen, well, a kid of course, but <laughs> there's hardly ever just a whole bunch of construction going on or guys working. It's always those four guys having the water, you know, having some water and then that one guy driving his tractor. I don't know what he's doing with that thing, but there you go. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Fresh baked. We've got lots more videos for you to see, so grab a churro and check out some of our other videos and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time. Fresh baked.